nipples. We all have them. But over time, they can take a beating. After all, it's where our milk comes from, silly. Act now and get a free bottle of our all do eucalyptus nipple bomb. Some side effects can include anal itching, diarrhea, and hemorrhoids. And we're back. What's going on, people? I appreciate you tuning in tonight and being here with me today. The What's going on guys? First off, thank you for showing up and watching my video if you are. I've been kind of doing some things. <laughs> also, if you're new here and you like what you see, and I know you will, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, notification bell as well. Unintentional rhyme. That way you'll be notified in the future whenever I put out a juicy new fresh video. <clears throat> also, I want to give a huge shout out to my new little friend, Chaos of Judas cool dude and uh, looking forward to seeing him on YouTube soon. All right, guys. It's been a while since I've gotten caught up to nukes and chills and um, slap tam and all the good ones. So I picked out a, uh, a nukes top five, his newest one. Hope he doesn't mind. Nuke, you know I love you, man. <laughs> and I have not seen this video, so I figured me and you together, we can snuggle, we can hang out on the couch and Nukes top five and chill, right? <laughs> uh, and they wonder why I don't make videos anymore. Okay, enough of the talking. Let's get to the video. And play. Top five ghosts call on camera. Shadow of doubt. Ghost hunter David Brantley from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals goes to investigate a local church in Chester, South Carolina along with his nephew, Eli. The church was built in the late 1800s, and David says that in the early 1900s, ritualistic ceremonies were held on church grounds. He says that many of the people who attend the church claim to have witnessed strange shadow figures and objects moving around on their own. There's a presence here, could you make yourself known? Dude. Bro. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. Real quick. The debunking part of my mind instantly goes to the obvious, right? I mean, these two guys are together. They're in the same room. I mean, who's to say there isn't a third person in the other room hitting the piano keys? and then hiding, of course. That's just where my mind goes. I'm not saying that's what's happening here, but I want to believe so bad, okay? And also, when he turns the camera to his, his face, that also gives extra time for the person to hide or whatever, you know, and get out of the uh, shot, so let's keep going. And play. So damn. Old. Old places creep, not play pianos. Come on, just play the piano one more time for me. What the f was that? Dude. This time they hear the creaking of a door and when they go to check it out, they find that a small storage closet has opened on its own. Also, even though they don't notice it at the time, a chair they filmed earlier has now turned around without explanation. David and Eli decide to sit in the back of the main hall to keep an eye on the piano. Again, I want to believe so bad, but it's just at the point, I have to point out the obvious is that a third person could easily be doing that, moving the chair, closing the door, but there's you know, very easy explanations for some of these things you're seeing. 
but um, you know, let's go ahead and keep going. That's when they capture something downright chilling. Did you used to play piano here? We would love to hear you play again. Without noticing it, they capture something peeking out at them from a room at the front of the church. Not once, but twice. David says that he was completely unaware of the shadow figure until he looked back at his footage later. As the two guys head into the back room to investigate, the first thoughts right off the bat, to me, honestly, and I'm not trying to be negative here at all. I'm just trying to give you what I what I honestly feel. I'm not pulling the punches or anything. Just from what I see here, it just looks like somebody tried to put an image in there and just use gloss black. You know what I mean? Like you figure as far as, look at the surroundings as far as the, uh, the aesthetics of this video, right? It just looks like a, a gloss black computer image to me, right? And even the, even the movement of the figure when it goes back in, it kind of sticks out the way it goes back in real quick. It's really quick. It's almost artificial looking. I have to lean more towards the uh, fake side done in post-production with the computer probably. In location where they captured the peeking figure, they hear some strange noises. And without even knowing, they capture this. Did you see it? As they pan across the room with their camera, some dark shape seems to be standing near the back of the room, just watching them. Now, David didn't even mention this capture and it wasn't reported in the video comments. I just happened to notice this figure while I was closely watching the video for this week's top five. So did they capture real paranormal activity in the church? Or is it just an elaborate hoax? You decide. But. If the video is a hoax, why not mention the creepy shadow figure in the back of the church? What do you think, guys? I'd love to know your opinion on this particular piece because it could be a, a few different things, right? It could be that they put this shadow figure in this piece but did not tell him, did not tell Nuke about it. That way he would find it on his own and make it that much more believable, right? Option B, is that I'm wrong with the first shadow figure and both of these are real. Option C is that the first shadow figure was fake and they, they caught a real shadow figure by accident. Could happen, right? Is there an option D? Hold on. Oh yeah, option D. Both of the figures are fake. So there's, there's four ways to go about it. My opinion still stands for the first one did look Kind of artificial the second one looks more interesting looks more juicy looks more tantalizing i must i must admit so this one's got me so what do y'all think let me know i'll definitely reply in the comments to you what you think and um all right very nice let's go to the next one guys shall we the party's over facebook user mario lara was very excited when he opened his very own party and event store in guadalajara mexico however Soon after moving in, strange events started to take place inside the store. Mario claims that one of the piñata dolls that they sell at the store frequently falls over and even seems to move on its own. After continuous unexplained activity, Mario decides to lock the piñata in the store's restroom and broadcast it live on Facebook. Te voy a levantar. La dejé así. Yo la dejé así. Y la dejé encerrada. Pues yo la dejo así. La dejo así. Y, y, y o sea, siempre que la hemos dejado acá, siempre que la hemos dejado acá, este. Yeah, dude, you're walking sale, off. Y vuelve, oh, come on, man. Y vuelve a aparecer. It, you walk around the whole store and then come back. Of course it's going to move because somebody can get in there and just move it real quick. I don't know, man.
Siempre tirada. After leaving the piñata in the restroom for a while, he returns to check up on it. Mira, vamos a, vamos a ver las, las, ah, hijo de su... Lo que les digo. Ay, ay, mi corazón. I mean, as far as this one goes right here, I could literally go right now and put a doll in the bathroom, film it for you, walk around my house, have somebody come in there and move it real quick and do the same thing. And play. Late one night, Mario receives an alert from one of the store's security cameras that movement has been detected inside the store. Fearing an intruder, he immediately checks the CCTV footage. He is shocked by what he finds. I know how they did that, do you? Right off the bat, I saw that. One of the piñatas that's hanging from the ceiling suddenly starts to move and then just violently spins out of control before finally slowing to a halt. Let's go back to where it first started spinning here. Now, you ever played with string or rubber band on the toy or whatever you're using? It be a cat toy to, to whatever it is. In school, you have rubber bands and stuff like that. You're you're hanging it right by, by the string, and you keep on twisting it around, right? Twisting it, twisting it, twisting it, twisting it. Twists tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter, right? Till you can't twist it anymore. Then you let go. What happens? It unravels faster, faster and faster and faster until it completely unravels. Um, that's what's happening here, I believe, because you can actually see. Right here, this area, where it's really twisted up. See how short it is from, from here to here? Right now, this doll is completely twisted around. Now, you must be asking, how would the doll stay in place though, right? Same thing I asked. Well, if you look at the feet, the feet are anchoring this doll right now. So the only thing keeping this doll from spinning out of control of these feet. So it's pre-torqued, if you will, right now. All that has to happen is for somebody to pull up on that string, it probably, probably goes to the ceiling and comes down somewhere else. Once these feet lift off the ground, then it's free to unwind all the way. So now watch. Also, real quick, as it's unwinding, notice how this right here, this bundled up part, gets longer and longer as it unwinds. See? Be longer and longer because it's unwinding. That is, my friend, debunked. One of the piñatas that's hanging from the ceiling suddenly starts to move and then just violently spins out of control before finally slowing to a halt. And play. Jude the story of TikTok user Salea Ileana who was hanging out in the attic with her friend when something absolutely terrifies them. By the way, TikTok dude is taking me over. I mean, I'm on TikTok now, by the way. I've only got one video on there, it's old video, but um, you can start watching TikTok and an hour later be like, I cannot stop watching TikTok. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Stop! No, I'm not even f***ing you. No, oh my God! Please, you <laughs> mom! I can't. What if it's a raccoon? Why is she answering? She She's in there, I'm gonna be so mad. She's not in there. What the hell? Mom, she was just messing with us for a long amount of time. 
scared the out of me. Let's throw something at it. What? Ah! Ah, what the Oh my god! It's so weird. It's no, it's not. Why was it knocking? It was completely closed. Like I shut it. Like I, it closes with the lock. So I, uh, I'm shaking. Mom! Mom! <laughs> now, this is where things get a little creepier because many of you were quick mm. to point out something else shows up in the video only moments after the door mysteriously swings open. Hey Nuke, so I uh, was watching your video and I've noticed that when the girl turns her camera around there's a black figure that shoots right by. I think I found some <laughs> nukes then point out what? That's it. So you see that you see that black thing I was just going right by? An unexplained dark shadow seems to pass right in front of the camera. Could this be the evil entity that many TikTok viewers believe is responsible for the what strange the occurrences in Solea's attic? Or is it something that can be more easily explained? Now at first I thought it could simply be a finger accidentally sliding across the phone's camera lens. But the odd dark shape seems to grow in size before moving away to the right. You guys spotted it, I didn't, and it's still unexplained. So what Dude. do you think? The Woodchester man, maybe a hand or something that looked man. That is really weird, right? And the reaction seems pretty real to be honest with you. What do y'all think? I mean, I'm sitting here in a dark ass room at five in the morning and um, that kind of creeped me out. So the door by itself was just one thing, but then that black figure, man, that changes a lot. Okay. Well, I'm freaked out now. After this, I'll be turning every light on the house on and uh, watching um, Roseanne and pretty. Now, this next video by the popular Mexican YouTube Urbex channel, Terror Alex Dreamo, was featured on August 24th, and I have gotten hundreds of questions and comments about it since. The Terror Alex Dreamo crew explored the abandoned Gonzalo Castanado Hospital in Mexico City. During their exploration, they witness and capture some extremely creepy activity in the dark hallways and rooms of the <laughs> hospital. In this part of the video, Lewis and Cameraman Yanni are discussing the garbage and litter strewn around the abandoned room. And then, this happens. <laughs> Some dark figure seems to pass a doorway behind one of the explorers mm. twice without him knowing. But that's not all. Many of you have reached out to me about something that happens mm. only moments earlier. Yo, Nuke, you lacking, my boy. <laughs> you ain't peeping. <laughs> you, you missed this part. Yeah, I just he saw, saw it. I was watching. I saw it too, man. He, he, she's calling Nuke out, man. <laughs> You see that guy in the background, way off in the background, walking? Nuke Top 5's newest video, and I realized that he missed something. My name is Jules. Thank you so much for the videos that you are uploading every week. Uh, shout out to the Filipinos, Filipino fans of yours. I just want to pin out uh, a clip. I'm watching the video Nuke put up about three days ago, and I think he missed something. Just watch it. <laughs> I think you may have missed something. Hey, y'all be easy on Nuke, man. He's got a big channel to run. Very busy dude. I'm not just kissing his butt because I'm using this video either. But, uh, <laughs> he's, uh, it's, it's hard to catch everything when you're doing so many things at once, so. In this video, look in the background after he pans the camera over here. You can see someone walk by. See? That, right, right there. Did you see this, Nuke? Did you see this sh right now? Did you see this? <laughs> right there, right there. You see that? It's so creepy, man. See a whole person. You missed it, bro. See that whole shadow walking. And you ain't even mentioned it. He's lacking, my boy, like I said. So, at least on this one, I can say <laughs> that I definitely was not caught lacking. <laughs> this video is 100% explainable, yeah, which is why I didn't point it out in my original video. Nuke has a sense of humor, dude. I love it. You see, the abandoned Gonzalo Castanado Hospital is located right in the downtown streets of Mexico City. 
In fact, right across the street from the broken down hospital, there are buildings that are still being used as offices and apartments. So I'm thinking that someone across the way just happened to be walking around their office at the exact moment that the camera pans by right. the window. Good but job, Nuke. Having said that, I can't possibly spot all the creepy crawly stuff hidden in all of the videos. Exactly. So if you happen to catch something in a video that I didn't see, <laughs> point it out in a video response and send it to nukestop5 at gmail.com. Because I actually do love it when you guys find some little creepy something in a video that I missed. <laughs> I'll see you next week. Nuke is a cool dude. I love Nuke's videos. I love his music and um, presentation style. And uh, he does, also, he keeps a sense of humor about him as well. Once again, good to see you guys. Love you. And I will see you next time. Peace out.